Welcome to Classics, Sound Master Kayla here with you, and today on Classics, you are getting a slice of skateboarding history. We're taking you back to 2001, when the X Games descended on Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, for the first ever true street skateboarding contest. Now, why Philly? Philly has got a long, strong reputation as being one of the premier spots for street skating. It's the home of Love Park and FDR. Now, with such spots, obviously, they're also going to churn out some of the most technically advanced, stylistic individuals in street skating today. These guys got to represent in the contest for Philly against some of the best skateboarders in the world. And to top this historical event off, we did it right at the steps of City Hall. Now, City Hall is a spot where on any average day, a skateboarder is going to show up and run the risk of getting a ticket for probably somewhere around $300, but not today. We started this contest off with the best run competition where each skater took two two minute runs on this most unique street skate course. This contest was held at City Hall, which is a real street spot. Even though it's illegal, we get kicked out every day. Well, we have undercovers coming after us, bike cops, cops on motorcycles, we got park rangers, I mean, you name it, I've seen it. It's kind of like routine almost, for them even. You know, everybody's got their job, you know what I mean? We got our job, they got their job. Like here's like a $300 ticket, downtown LA is like a $300 ticket. So. It was great to have like the cops beyond the bars, you know, like we're inside of them, we're skating, and there's nothing they can do. First raw street contest I've ever seen. A place we get kicked out of every day. We can we can skate legally and there's obstacles, you know. It's amazing. <laughs> I was talking to Josh about that. I was like, do you ever think you'd be taking a run in this place? You know what I mean? Taking a run with hundreds of kids surrounding the entire city hall where it's actually a contest. And he's like, not in a million years. Costner was laughing during his runs and talking to people when, when he was going by him and still did amazing. Like he didn't care. This contest is the closest thing to resemble a true 100% street skateboarding contest. I mean, I usually skate with those guys a lot at contests, but this one was just totally different because it's it's real street. You know, I've never we've never ever done that before. You know, how often do you get to skate a real ledge? You know, go down some real stairs. You know, this is it's amazing. You know what I mean? This is going revolution like skateboarding right now. Philly was backing it up. It felt good. I mean, you were skating for them, and normally I don't really, I'm not into that. I like to skate for myself. Ricky Iola has obviously been here before because did you see the move down here into the Ollie up to the steps and then frontside ball side to Fagy over there? He's got combos coming out of his ears. The guy's on fire. You don't have to skate contests to be a professional skateboarder. Most professional skateboarders don't go to contests. They're just out in the streets. That's what's kind of good about this contest, too, is that it's like to the, street, the street guys that uh, I guess the world doesn't really get to see, you know what I mean? Coming in the, the city, we skate every day and being like, look, you guys are locals. We're going to give you a part in this. You know, do what you can do against Eric Costin, Kerry Guest, Rick McCrank, Chris Sims.
Anything could have happened in anybody's runs. Um, Kerry, you know, set the standard, I guess, this first run. This is a piece of skateboarding history that's about to happen for millions of people. What's the deal? Sal Master Kayla here, and we're back with the Philly X Games 2001 on Classics, making history with the first ever true street skateboarding competition. After Carrie's first run, everybody had to be kind of like, okay, Carrie just put on a clinic. And then people started really stepping up. The level of skating that was in the contest was ridiculous. You're not really supposed to do those kinds of tricks first and second try. Definitely anybody could have won any run. Like everyone had the lines and the tricks. It was just a matter of landing them and just riding away. Throughout the runs, as people were going, it kind of like progressively got better. I think. Everyone has their specialty. They're not out there just looking at somebody doing a basic line and trying to like, you know, take bits and pieces. They, they're skating for themselves. So it was, I loved everyone. I ain't gonna lie. Shred dog over here. That was sweet, man. Thanks. Chris Sen had just lines like he always does that nobody thinks of. And you never even see the things he's trying until he tries them. Like, how'd you think of that? You know, like, I would never think of that, you know what I mean? So it was like, I love that, I love that, I love originality. I feel like I don't want to do the same thing, you know, every every run. I'd rather try something new, you know. really peer a lot deeper and, and under appreciate the, the artistry involved with being a really good technical street skateboarder. At the end of the day, Carrie's first run was left everyone stunned. 
no one was able to, to link it all together uh, and come up to that level, and that's why he deserved to win. In first place, from Habitat Skateboards, Carrie's one of my favorite skaters because just the way he skates is perfect. You know, everything is perfect, and when he lands something, it's just there it was. There's a trick. Like everything's really like it's precise, it's consistent, and it's solid. So it's, it's fun to watch. I can't even explain it, man. Being up there with the gold medal around my neck is the best feeling to hear everybody screaming my name and stuff like that. And actually looking looking down at Costin, you know, he's always up. Up on the up on the middle pedestal, and I'm always down next to him. So it was good to be up there. It's probably one of the best contests I've ever been in, just because like it's real street stuff, marble grounds, and everybody in Philly was backing it up. It was really fun skating a, a real spot and real stairs, and how perfect that place really is for skateboarding is is amazing. I think that street skateboarders all over the world are gonna look at this and just be like. You know what I mean? They went to Philadelphia and, and had a street skateboard contest, you know? Hopefully this can be in, like a beginning to something new. That this happens way more often. We go back there today, like after the contest, and we still get a ticket. You know, we made a deal with these guys. You guys got to skate. I hope you had a good time. But now it's back to the normal routine, you know? We got the next leg of the Philly Street Skate Competition coming up. When we come back, the same pro is going to switch it up for the first ever street best trick competition. Welcome back to ESPN Classics and the first ever true X Games street skateboarding competition. You know, just like hip hop, the roots of skateboarding are the streets. It's where the sport was born and it will always be the core of the sport. The best trick competition is next. The skaters were given 15 minutes to session each of our three obstacles. The benches, the bank to bank, and the jersey barrier. Everybody was pumped up just to skate here. Just to be able to skate all the new obstacles they brought. Now what you're gonna see in this session is as the skaters move from obstacle to obstacle, the level of skating just, it just goes to a whole nother place. Couldn't believe that many, you know, skaters in Philly like that. It's beautiful, you know, it's like a family thing in skateboarding. We were trying to get the most out of this we could because it ain't gonna be there tomorrow, you know what I mean? It was right then and right there. Finally get a chance to skate there without the police bothering them or anybody else. And everybody kind of embraced it. I mean, letting us have City Hall for a day was the best thing we could have ever done. Like in the best trick contest, everything just kind of built up. You got 15 minutes to do one trick, so you might as well make it good. One person would do one trick, somebody else would say, well, I gotta do better than that, so they just totally push the envelope, you know? Everything was so fun to skate, the real street, you know, stuff that we would we would skate every day. We look at everything different. We can walk down the street, see those stairs, and, and we're not, you know, most average people will just say, you see stairs, you know? We're looking at those stairs to see how we can skate them. It's kind of like what goes down in, in everyday skating or maybe filming for, for skate videos. When people start feeding off each other like that and that kind of energy, then that's when you get the greatest performances, and that's certainly what we got out of this contest. First obstacle was the, the benches. Everybody at the contest skates a bench in their town, wherever they're from. Carrie's manual tricks on the ledge are pretty insane. Like flip in, flip out stuff. It's pretty hard to hold the manual and then flip it out. You know? He didn't even kick your nose really. No, he flip out. Gnarly. Really gnarly stiff competition. Costin and Carrie are scaring me. Usually it's always on something like really hard or gnarly to skate. 
actually they took it to something like you can get really technical on. So I like that. I like that they chose the benches. The, the Jersey Barrier was definitely the highlight, the, the, the hottest part of the, of the best trade contest. You have a ledge going downstairs now, like something that you didn't have on these stairs before. It drops off like a good like five feet at the end, and then you got to ollie out to it, so it's it's pretty gnarly. Some of the stuff that went down on it was pretty insane. These guys were killing it yesterday. Killing it. It was cool, like, just going through this corridor of people after you do the trick. Sometimes they'd, like, close in and you have to get them out of the way. Yeah, that's a big move. That's probably the biggest move so far. Switch point of grind. That's a big one. That's up there. I get distracted really easily. So it's kind of hard for me to skate when there's, like, faces and kids and guys with cameras everywhere. At the best trick contest, I made one pretty good trick, and I figured I could back it up with a second trick. I stepped off my board wrong, it landed all my weight straight onto my heel, and it was like just the sharpest plane shooting up. And I'm going to say that the crank is ahead right now, and he's casually still sitting on top, and we've got a lot more to go. competition always seems to be the crowd favorite. You get to watch your favorite skater work at a trick that seems impossible and then make it. It's really what a true street skateboarding session with friends is all about. The only difference with this session, well, some of the best pros in the world and possibly the best guy in the world, Eric Costa. People were knocking off tricks left and right, you know, and not just your average tricks, like tossed them backside nose one slid that barrier. You don't do that every day, you know what I mean? Trick like that, I mean, you can just kind of go for it. Me, I got to work, I got to kind of work my way into it. I feel like I can't, I can't stop until I do it or I get hurt. Either one, whichever comes first. Nose one slide, and we can leave that part of the course because he just won that area. It's not like a set hour I'm gonna go try this trick. It's whenever you kind of feel like it, actually. But I mean, you could spend hours on one trick too. You can blow this, you can blow it. Or weekends, weekend after weekend after weekend. <laughs> I guess it can be somewhat unappreciated because it's not shown. And then again, it could get too boring to try and show all that too. And almost embarrassing. <laughs> Depending on what you've tried for so long. That's how skating is. It's just going and doing what you want to do. Wherever you want to do it. There's stuff only my imagination can do it. For me to physically do it, I don't think that ever happen. But at least you can live it through the video game as opposed to your, just your, your imagination. Now you can, I can go and play it. And sometimes try a trick that I'll, you know, I'll never do. Being huge gaps, a set of stairs, longer rail, 
I'd rather be able to skate everything. Just because I think skating would get kind of boring if I didn't have like a variety of things to do. just got worn out. And there was three spots, so it was like half an hour just constantly skating and, and trying to do something hard. I was tired, but I wanted to get at least one trick on everything so I could average out and win some bills. Oh, Gary Gates with the double kicky. Yeah, I think it was kind of scary because it was short on one side and tall on the other, and it was just a blind drop over this wall, and then there's the bottom where you ride down, there's two cement benches. No, he hops way in front, so flipping the track. Shut down. He did five tricks that some people don't do those five tricks in their video part that they film for, you know, four or five months. Let's give it up to Rick McFrank, who just did every move he could possibly do in a period of two minutes or whatever it was. I like the best tricks. They need to do them in every contest. This time it was just something new and fun, so like, just us in the park. Hopefully we have more contests like that. This is going to be a really good memory, you know? I know they're going to do it next year, and I can't wait for that. Rick McCrank is really, really, really good. You just saw that. That's why he got the gold and the best trick. And congrats go out to the Philly local, Kerry Getz, holding it down in the best run portion of the competition. It's, it's so good to win something like this because it's, this is like the first thing they've ever done, so I'm pretty excited about that. In 2001, the X Games really did make history. We had the first ever true street skateboarding contest at City Hall in Philadelphia. You got to see some of the best skating that you're ever gonna see, from pros that you see on television every day, and pros that you normally don't see in contests. It gets no better. My name is Sal Masakela, and thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.